Greetings everyone and welcome to my first English tutorial and I really hope everything goes well and if something is, <laughs> is not as clear as I hope it is just leave a comment and I'll try to answer that. Okay, today it's all about this button here. Not only this button, yeah, Cycles offers two uh, shading systems. One is called Open Shading Language, this here, and the default one is called SVM. And this button here I think is known to be very slow, horrible slow, <laughs> even slower than that. Yeah, uh, it basically makes your render crawl. And I found one thing out, why, why is it so slow? Yeah, if you turn this on, on a, just on a normal blend file, and, and why is it so slow? And there's one feature that slows everything down like hell, and it's called textures. Yeah, so it's all about textures in combination with open shading language. And how, how can we make it as fast as possible, or as close as possible to the SVM version? Because the SVM textures are really fast. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's basically no slowdown at all. Maybe with a lot of them, but then you run out of memory. Okay, and I've prepared four different blend files. And yeah, let's start with this one here. And this one is called OSL Environment Test. And in this file, I just do all my environment tests to see if, if I can do something to make it faster on the, on the yeah, user side. There are always uh, yeah, possibilities for the developers. And there are, I think, a lot of things missing for, for the textures for OSL. That's why it is so slow, I think. <laughs> but I am not 100% sure. Okay. And this here is a very simple file with Suzanne, with a very simple material, glossy, diffuse, and a Fresnel node, just mixed together, that's it. And one light, but that's not important. And the important thing is here in the background, or in the world, there's one environment texture, and this is a very tiny one, 400 by 200 pixels. And yeah, I like to use uh, smaller ones for an animation. It's faster and it doesn't really make a difference <laughs> if you use a 5K by 5K or just a small one. Yeah, it both looks good. Okay, that's it. Nothing more. And that's 30 uh, samples squared, so 900 samples in total. That, that, that stuff here, it's not important <laughs> right now. So let's just render it with SVM, so open shading um, disabled. And it takes a few seconds but I wanted to show you live. Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay, 18, uh, let's say, let's call this 19 seconds with SVM. And then I switch to a different slot and enable OSL and render again. And let's see, and you, you can already notice it looks slower and it is slower. So it takes a little bit longer. And there's nothing in the scene, just one texture. Okay, 19 seconds are over <laughs> and we are at half of the, of the tiles or so. Yeah, I guess that's the reason why people avoid this button here, but it's, it's a very nice button. Yeah, it's very flexible and you can do a lot of stuff with this. Okay, just by pressing this button, we <laughs> increase the render time by 20 seconds. Yeah, basically double or more than double the render time. Okay, and now I will show you a trick I found out today, just a few hours ago, and then I tested it. And I will just do this. Yeah, you go to file. There are more ways to do this, but I will show you, or I'm going to show you the... <laughs> Easiest one is to go to external data and just press this button here, pack into dot blend. Okay, then there's this packed button here. <laughs> and now I, I will, I'm gonna render it again with open shading um, enabled. Okay, different slot, right? And then just hit render. And <laughs> let's see what happens. And it already looks faster than the render before. Come on, finish. Uh, 
And as you can see, it is faster. Yeah, it's, yeah, now it's 24 seconds. So the SVM version is 19 seconds. The SVM, <laughs> yeah, no, not the, the OSL version without packed uh, images is 38. And with packed images, it's 24. So the, the speed is, it's not as good as SVM right now, but it's not that horrible <laughs> anymore. But there's also um, uh, a, diff uh, a next thing. I look at this peak value here. I look at the SVM version. It's 10.55 with open shading uh, open shading language enabled. It's just 9.33, and with packed image, it's back to <laughs> 10.55. So it loads the textures into memory and uses. Yeah, this also. I, I'm not 100. I'm not a, dev a developer, so I'm not really sure what's going on. But for a few textures, you can just pack them, and other textures, really large textures, I will show to you in the next file. You don't pack them, <laughs> and then you get a mix yeah, between these render times between the 24 and um, the 38 or 39 or whatever. So basically, with some maybe 30 seconds, but it's not as slow as just using <laughs> the OSL uh, without packed images. Okay, I hope this is clear. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go to the next one here. And this is also a very simple, it's uh, called image test. And this is just a cube unwrapped in a strange way, I think. Yes, it is, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, and with a few textures, and they're really large, yeah, like 8K textures and three of them, basically they're all the same, but different names. So yeah, I'm very lazy, but for testing, this is good. And these textures here are TX files and these here are not. Yeah, you could also use JPEG or whatever, but if you want to use this button here, open shading language, you should convert your textures to TX files. There's a simple program and you can do that yeah you should they will show you why okay let's connect this one yeah this is here the non tx version but it's the same texture basically and but no let's yeah let's first render the svm version without open shading language let's do this i'm not sure how long this will okay it's very quick So it takes, so without open shading language, it takes 12 seconds. Now I switch to a different layer, enable open shading language, nothing more, just enabling open shading language and rendering with uh, a non-TX file for the first time after, Blender, <laughs> after the startup of Blender. Okay, and let's do this and you will notice a very strange thing. Look at this here, it hangs for a second. Yeah. I think there's some conversion going on. That's why you should use TX files, then that does not happen. Okay. OSL TX files. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. Okay, and it's slower, of course. Very slow, actually. And there are test scenes there. It goes up like six times the render time or so from one minute to six or more minutes and that's really strange for just a few textures. Okay, so it jumped from 12 seconds, no, this one here, from 12 seconds by just enabling open shading language to 38. Yeah, that is horrible. And now I render the same file again. Yeah just to show you the difference. Now it doesn't hang anymore at the beginning because the texture is already converted or so. I don't know what's going on, but after starting up Blender, this happens here, but then, yeah, it only happened once. Okay, let's see how long this will take. Yeah, the, the other Blend files are pre-rendered, so <laughs> we don't have to wait that long. Okay, now it's not that slow anymore. It's just 33 seconds, uh, 33 versus 38. Okay. Yeah, 
um, and using this here, the, the TX files, it's, this, um, it's a little bit faster actually. Let's try this on a different. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure why this is faster, but it is one or two seconds faster, I think. And it looks the same. Uh, yeah, not always. There's, uh, I don't know. There's a difference between the, the interpolation or so. Sometimes it looks a little bit different, but it's not. It's just a minor difference, I would say. Okay, and it's quite a lot faster actually for just using a different. Um, but it's five. Okay, with non-TX files it's thirty-three, and with TX files it's 29, so it's f f four seconds better, so you should definitely use TX files. Okay, that should be clear. And now the next thing is the trick again. And you can, yeah, uh, okay, I will show it to you in the next file, but let's do this. Let's pack everything into the blend file and you will see here the memory is already quite high, but <laughs> let's do that and bam, it goes up to 1.8 gigabytes. But now we will render again with OSL TX files and go. And you can already see it's uh, faster. Okay, so it's down from 29 to 17 and that it's quite close to the SVM version. It's still slower, but not horrible again. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's basically the trick. Use SVM textures and use use this feature here, pack it into the blend file. But you should be very careful. As you can see here, it's already at two gigabytes. And if you use a lot of textures, yeah, then you, you can also mix this uh, feature. And I will show to you, um, you can also pack this in the image editor. You, you can't do this in this node here or here. Or, oh no, you can do this here. Let's open this up again. Let's see. Ah, yeah, you can do this in the node. <laughs> Even better, so you don't have to use the image editor. Just click on this node and then you can pack this file. Okay, it's packed, but this one it's not. So if you use a really large texture, then you shouldn't pack it. <laughs> then it's just slow. Okay, yeah, just press this button. Or if you want to um, pack all the uh, files, then you can just use this button here. Okay, go to the next um, version. And this here is a quite extreme uh, file. This is a very old file. It's not very complicated. Also very simple materials like this here. And is there, is there more? Let me check this. Let's yeah, that's basically just the texture mixed with something and glossy and diffuse and texture for the displacement. And you should should never ever use this displacement um, slot here. Use the blue ones. Okay. And I pre-rendered it, rendered it with open shading language, of course, disabled, so SVM version, and it took 38 seconds. Very quick, actually. <laughs> and then I just uh, enabled open shading language and it jumped to four minutes and 42. And that's, that's quite extreme. Yeah, over four minutes longer. <laughs> that's very high. Okay. Then, um, let me check this. I rendered it again. The, yeah, seven to six seconds less because of this conversion thing at the beginning. Yeah. Always use TX files with o OSL. And then I packed all the files into the blend file and ran it again. And then this happens. It's back to under one minute, 58 seconds. So it's just 20 seconds slower than the SVM version. It looks a little bit different, but that's not a big deal. And 20 seconds is okay. Yeah, it's definitely better than <laughs> four minutes. Yeah. Otherwise it's the same, just pack the files and you get your speed back, but also your memory increases, yeah. You, you, you can also mix it, and I will show it to you in the next file. This one here, and this is a Lego shader, 
quite an extreme shader, I think. As you can see, it's quite large. Um, but it's also a special shader and you can only do this with OSL. It is, it's impossible to do this with SVM. This is an override shader. Yeah, it, it overrides everything in the scene and then assigns different things to different objects. Or basically, these are all instances and whatnot. But yeah, it's about the textures, not the shader here. And I rendered it um, two times, non-packed and packed. And yeah, uh, this shader has a lot of tricks in it. There's also a level of detail system. I disabled that. But there are more tricks, so the difference between the render type is not that extreme, but it's worth it. Okay. And yeah, here are the um, where are they? Here are the textures. Let's say for example this one here. It's called scratch.tx. And this one is packed. And there are a few more like fingerprints and uh, roughness map, the dust blending map, the dust itself is not a texture, and so on. These textures here on the heads, these are not loaded into Blender and they can't be loaded into Blender because they have to be assigned on on render time, yeah, on the render time, um, on, yeah, on render time. Okay, and this is the non non packed version. And it took one hour and 41, uh, 42 minutes. Yeah. And then I just packed it. But you should also look here. Uh, memory peak is 186. And then I packed everything that's packable. And the peak goes up to 227, which is a joke. Yeah, it's okay. But the render time drops to one hour and 25. So it's 17 minutes better yeah and that's quite good i think and with all, all the tricks that are <laughs> in here this render would take without packing without all the tricks this render here would take five or six hours or so really it's it's extreme <laughs> okay yeah that's basically it pack all the textures you can pack into the blend file but be careful it takes up <laughs> System RAM, of course. Load all the textures to the through the OSL system. You should use a different node, not the not this node here. Uh, you could write your own one. It's very simple. You actually you can copy this and just kill a few things, and then you have a nice image node. Use this one. Uh, for example, you use an UDIM node or so, and then you try to you try to load 100 textures. Yeah, you can't do this per hand, <laughs> that's impossible. And also that would eat up too much memory. Yeah, then you have to live with the slow rendering speed. But I think someone should fix this in cycles <laughs> and this is fixable for sure. Okay, is this everything? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.